For the first time since inception, the International Olympiad in Informatics is hosted by Kazan Federal University, the second oldest university in Russia. Kazan won the right to host over rival cities from Japan and Azerbaijan. The first record was set even before the competition. 88 delegations arrived to this Olympiad, the highest representation ever. The participants were always assisted by student volunteers from Kazan University, one of the co-organizers of the event. The university also accommodated the guests at the University Village, one of the best student dorms in the country. Personally, my impressions are wow. Uh, Kazan is huge and beautiful city, it's astonishing, the architecture is great. And also the campus, the Universite Village is huge and it's the best, it's the best uh, campus I've ever seen. It's really nice, I feel like we've been um, like this whole organization is very professional. Yeah, it's a nice place. We've been uh, walking around some tourist attractions. It's well organized city, nice people, nice food. I like every single thing in this country. I hear that there is good university. I know the education system is very good there. I may study there in the future. Actually, we will do our best and we will enjoy the experience. So we will do our best. Actually. <laughs> the opening ceremony of the 28th International Olympiad in Informatics was broadcast live on the internet and on regional cable TV. The broadcast was provided by Universe Matri, the Kazan University student TV station. The ceremony featured video shows, 3D graphic, laser and light performances. The national flag parade was one of the key moments of the celebratory event. Bangladesh! Bulgaria! Bulgaria! Bosnia and Herzegovina! Bosnia and Herzegovina! Belarus! Belarus! The guests were able to get a taste of Russian and Tatar culture, represented by the best creative teams of the Republic of Tatarstan. The dance is very, uh, very beautiful and it's very unique for us. And I would like to everybody involved in to find new friends, to learn new lessons and to return next year better prepared and decisive to work for making the world better. It's gratifying to know that the International Olympiad in Informatics is organized along with the Olympic Games in Rio, where our Russian athletes fight for the Olympic gold. Rector Rashad Gafurov, in his welcome speech, noted the importance of IT in modern education. He expressed hope that Kazan will host other such events in the future. And we hope that we'll do our best and somehow we will win the right to host the competition, the International Olympiad for students, that will be held in 2020. No matter what results you will achieve during the competitions, I would like to congratulate you on the results because you have already achieved much in this competition. For all those who could not watch the live broadcast, the video is available at the KFU website and on Universe Matri's YouTube channel. KFU Media Center's employees cover the competition and the everyday life of the participants. The interviews can be found at the official website www.ioi2016.com. We also filmed the contest itself. Each of the two legs contained three algorithmic tasks. The second leg was more intense. Current IOI tasks are very challenging and can only be solved by the most brilliant students. A bit hard, but solvable. The other two were uh, a bit challenging, uh, but uh, I believe people will achieve some scores, like good scores. I've been doing this for a few years now and lots of stuff on code forces and our websites and definitely seen more problems off a lot. But I have a couple of cows on my desk too. These, like cows are a symbol of Yusuko and basically every contestant always has a cow too. Why exactly a cow? Um, I, it, it's, it, it's, it's a long tradition, over decades. The Olympiad organizers provided many cultural events and entertainment. Okay. 
Our guests toured the city and familiarized themselves with Kazan University. They visited the city's main points of interest, Kazan Kremlin, Kul Sharif Mosque, and Simbiqia Tower. Moreover, everyone could get a closer look at the history of Kazan Federal University. In particular, a trip was arranged to the KFU History Museum. A unique opportunity was provided to IOI participants to try their luck at Sabantui, the Tar traditional harvest festival. Many different events were available, such as egg races, blindfolded pot breaking, and races in grain sacks. One of the most popular contests was sack fighting on a log. The cultural program continued with a visit to Inapolis, a city built specifically for IT companies and employees. Our guests could see the latest IT developments made by local experts, including those with the participation of Kazan Federal University. The visitors also toured the city and partook in exciting quests. The delegation then moved to the island city of Sviyarsk. There they watched an interactive show with famous characters of Russian history. They could also play traditional Russian folk games. I mean, something like besides the Kremlin and like downtown that was very nice, Something that I've noticed is that there seem to be lots of flowers in Kazan and that's just a really nice detail that like has made me happy because I can just like walk around and it's a very colorful city because of all the flowers. So I like that. The 28th International Olympiad in Informatics concluded with a grand closing concert at the Pyramid Entertainment Center. Universe Matri, the university student television, broadcast this event live. The best IT minds of the world received their well-deserved awards. He is overall world champion who is ranked the first International Olympiad in Informatic Distinguished Service Awards! For our honored guests and our winners, Mikhail Kuteli, Vladislav Makeyev, Zofan Vu, and Sejin! Thank you so much and please... The ceremony video is available on Universe Matri's YouTube channel and the only official site www.ioi2016.com. The ceremony ended with the official handover of the IOI flag to the Iranian delegation. That was the 28th International Olympiad in Informatics in Kazan. We hope that our city will win the right to host the 2020 International Collegiate Programming Contest, and Kazan Federal University will then be glad to welcome IT talents from around the world once again. <laughs>